Hey everybody, it's Matt. I've got my helper. You want to say hi, Shar? Hi. Uh, we're doing the Graco Modes Premat 3-in-1 travel system today, which comes with the Snug Ride Snug Lock 35 DLX car seat. So as you can see on the box, it's a stroller, a car seat, and a car seat base, and that's uh, what makes it a full travel system. That car seat will be good for the first year or so of your child's life, as long as they are rear-facing, and the stroller is good through the toddler years as well. The reason that this is called uh, the well, the modes and Pramet is uh, you can convert that stroller into a bassinet or a pram um, and f either have it in a forward facing or a rear facing capacity depending on the way that you have the canopy facing. So we're going to show you that and we're going to show you what's inside the box and uh, after we put this together you're going to sit in the stroller for us right and test it out. Fine. No, you don't have to. It's not going to... Feel. <laughs> you won't fit in it. All right, let's get started. So we've taken everything out of the box here. It looks like we have a little bit of assembly ahead of us for the stroller itself. I'm going to leave the car seat as it is for the time being. Uh, we've got the wheels there. We've got the base and we've got some other things. We were looking at the harness on the stroller and what were your thoughts on that? Pretty good child safety. Yeah, I'd say so. It took us a little while to undo it and put it back together to get the foam off, uh, which is usually a good sign for safety. So we are going to start putting this all together now. And are you ready to do it? Okay. All right, step one is the rear axle. And we are going to push down on that rear axle until we hear a click. And is that side clicked in as well? That side was previously clicked in by the looks of it. So we're good to go. Okay, step two, you ready for this one? All right, we are going to put the rear wheels on. And so basically what you do is you put the uh, wheel around the hub here and then we're going to put it on the rear axle there. From there, once we've installed it this way, we should be able to take one of these cotter pins and close it around the axle and then put the hub cap on. So I've got one wheel on here. I uh, just wanted to show you to make sure the cotter pin faces out. This one is a little bit tough to get in, but as long as you've got it like that, it should be good to go. And then you just put the cap on and uh, close it tight. Now we're going to flip this over and do the other side. All right, we're going to put the second wheel on now. Yeah. Let's make sure it lines up. You want to give that a quick spin? Okay. okay, it looks great. Let's put the cotter pin on now. Okay, so the next step is we're gonna put the front wheels on. Putting the front wheels on, a lot easier than putting the back wheels on, right? Yeah. Yeah, we, we practiced a little bit, so let's give this a shot. All you have to do is take the front wheel. And push it in. There you go. Let that go. And see it's fixed and ready to go. Ooh. If you wanna take the wheel out, you wanna show how you take the wheel out? Okay. Press the button, there you go. And it's, it's as even, easy as that. Yeah, and it's even more flexible than me. <laughs> All right, you want to put that back in? Yep. There we go. All right, let's do the other wheel. Mm -hmm. Now that we're done with the wheels, we can lock this in place and move over to the cup holders and the rest of what we got here. The next step is the cup holder and the phone holder. So they just go up here and they slip in. These are both dishwasher safe, so you can... Put them in and take them out with the greatest of ease. Oh, wow. That's yeah, okay. It might need a little bit of quick push down here. There we go. And we'll just do that to the other side for the cup holder here. We're coming around to the home stretch here. And so we are putting the uh, toddler seat together. We've put the pipe, the tubing together here, and we just have to click the seat wire in here and over on the other side. Okay, one of the last steps that we have to do here to put the seat together is to make sure that the canopy mount comes together. So I'm gonna push that in place there, do that to the other side, and then we'll actually be ready to put this right onto the stroller itself. Our last step is to line up the seat with the mount and push it into place. There we go, we're all done. Just gonna take you for a quick tour through the Graco Snug Ride Snug Lock 35 DLX. 
um, the seat itself. So the seat itself sits and rests on this base. Uh, it has handles here that can be adjusted up and down. And as you can see, I've got it in the up position right now. It comes with its own canopy as well. Uh, it's uh, rear facing only. And so it's for about the first year of your child's life to a maximum weight limit of 35 pounds. And I just wanted to show you the release is right here. So this release is what you'll be pressing to take it off the base or to take it off the stroller base, which I'll show you how to attach it to the stroller um, when I take this outside again. Let me just take you for a quick tour through the Snug Ride base itself. By the way, the base is good with any Graco Click Connect seat, so it doesn't just have to be the Snug Ride um, uh, 35 that comes with this. Um, the reason that this is called the Snug Lock as well, if you're familiar with Snug Lock technology, um, you've seen this before, but if you're not, it's that uh, the Graco Snug Lock system comes with a lever like this for the base so you'll be feeding your belt paths and things through and then you close it shut with a snap and it basically just snaps the belt path into place um, if you're looking for the UAT connectors by the way they're hidden here so they're not they're not as obvious or prominent especially if you look in the back here they're usually um, stored in the back or underneath somewhere here and they're actually not here but what you will see on the back is you'll see this so this is here uh, with a little release lever here in case you need to level your seat. And so this goes up and down as you need it to and snaps back into place. And then there's actually a level here as well for when you're installing the seat with some instructions on making sure that the seat is level. And so once you've got that into place and once you've got it leveled out, you simply just take the seat slides and clicks in just like this. All right, so we're gonna show you a couple different things before we take Charlotte's stuffies here for a walk. The first thing I'm gonna show you is how to unfold the stroller. So make sure that you hit this clasp here. There's a button here, you press in, you press this button at the top as well. And then it just comes together like that. So, uh, we're going to show you a couple different configurations next, including this seat and then this seat as well. We're going to show you a couple different configurations on the toddler seat here. Just wanted to bring your attention to this. This is a tray that actually goes at the front. Uh, we've chosen not to put this into the stroller just because it's going to hinder what we're trying to do. So at the front here, you have a little release lever that swings this over into a flat mode. So you can turn this into a bassinet from here by doing two things. There's a little uh, clasp that we showed you a few steps ago. You release that and push this down. And then there's a little release here as well. And you pull that. And then push the canopy up and you have yourself a bassinet. As luck would have it, uh, my neighbors next door were actually in the process of moving out and vacuuming and whatnot, and that took about three hours after I started filming this video, and so the daylight was gone at that point. Um, so I just have to do a quick voiceover, otherwise you wouldn't hear what I'm saying on the on the video there. But all I'm showing you is uh, just a couple different formations with the bassinet either forward-facing or rear-facing with the canopy, and then I completely take the seat away and replace it with the car seat into infant stroller mode if that's the way that you'd like to use it. So you don't actually have to have the uh, seat itself, the toddler seat itself, affixed at any point if you just want to use the infant seat, unlike some other travel systems out there. And then once we're done, uh, you'll see that we're ready to go for a walk. One of the problems that I've found in the past with travel system strollers is the size of the wheels and whether they're able to go over uneven terrain. Um, we had a travel system when Charlotte was a baby and it could barely go over what we're doing right now. And as you can see, she's going over it quite easily. Uh, and that's because these, these are all-terrain wheels and it's a fairly large wheelbase as well. So you get a lot of momentum as you're pushing. Circle. All right, let's stop for a sec. Do you want to try and take this off-road? Okay. Let's take it on here and see how easily it goes along here because again, some travel system strollers just have a lot of difficulty making it through here too. 
and on this type of bark mulch and uneven uh, terrain. How's it going for you right now? Really good. Is it really easy to push? Yep. Yeah? Okay, let's take it all the way out to the end there. You just have to push a little bit harder. Mm hmm Because it's bumpy. Right. But you're still making it through pretty easily. Yep. We're heading home now. What are your thoughts on this stroller? I think it's pretty good. You think it's pretty good? Yeah. It was pretty easy for us to put it together, huh? Yeah. And even with the uh, car seat and moving the seat around, that was all pretty easy with the attachments and the way that it all clicks together. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I distracted you there. No, it's fine. I just thought I, we lost a stroller piece back there. Ah, but, but we it didn't. It was just a drain. Yeah. Should we close up the video now? Yeah, okay. All right. So thanks for coming along. This is the Graco Modes Primet Travel System. Uh, again, thanks for watching the review. My name is Matt and your name is? Charlotte. Thank you for being such a good helper and we hope that you like this video. Like and subscribe the, uh, to the Best Buy channel and we will see you next time.